years ago, CBS News first told you the story of a group of veterans overcoming war wounds on the softball diamond. Now, as Mark Strassman reports, these athletes are inspiring a new generation. For all these kids, this softball camp was a revelation, asked nine-year-old Sydney Barta. I didn't know there were other people. Just like you, your age, dealing with the same kind of things that you are. I know, it's yeah. amazing. <laughs> they all had that reaction. It's not just me. Every kid on this field was missing a limb, in some cases, two. But they never lost their love for sports. How important is baseball to you? Very important. 13 year old Garrett Newberry was in an ATV accident in Arizona. It's harder to, like, to learn stuff, like with a prosthesis. And you see them do it, and you think, if, if he can do it, I can do it. Garrett's talking about all the instructors here half Army, half Marines, all amputees from the battlefield. Army Sergeant Matt Kinsey stepped on a landmine in Afghanistan. Josh Wege, a former Marine, lost both legs to an IED in Afghanistan. He was 19. This happened to you young. It happened to them even younger. Did that hit you when you first saw them all walk on the field? It was something I thought about. Some of these kids have been amputees longer than I have. We first met all the wounded Warriors softball team two years ago. Coach Dave Van Sleet, then a prosthetic specialist with the VA, wanted to get these wounded vets back into sports. One, two, three, Warriors! Since then, the team has been inspiring each other and anyone who has watched their exhibition games in 55 cities. They've come so far, they're now holding their first softball camp. So what is the goal of the camp? Our guys should be giving something back also. All the kids selected got an envelope in the mail. Scotty, you have been chosen to attend the Wooden Warriors softball camp! Oh my God. Boom! Look at that. Destroying it. Sydney Barta was getting batting tips from Josh Wege. A scaffolding fell in her leg when she was eight. They told me that I need to get it amputated, and well, it hurt so much, I think I was kind of glad to let it go. And I, I said, um, when it first fell on me, Mommy, will anybody love me again? Um, I asked her, will I ever be able to make a layup again? Because I really liked basketball. Will I ever be able to catch a softball again? They've taught me that you don't give up no matter what happens to you. Even if you've lost a limb or you were born like that, it's, you can just do what you want anyway. What connected everyone in this field is not what they had lost. It's what they've found again. Go, For CBS good. This right. Morning, Mark Strassman, Kissimmee, Florida. That'll inspire you. That's right. That little girl said it best. Don't give up no matter what happens to you. You know, anybody who has children all. knows that sometimes kids say things that mean so much. You don't give up no matter what happens to you. What a wonderful story, yeah. Mark. And just also on the same line, the notion, Mama, they won't love me. Yes. And then to realize. Yes. Yeah, know. that so congratulations that that to those in the Army changed. and the Marines Great who are helping and learning from those children as well.